Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's video for the Excel VBA, we are going to see that how can we use a very important feature of Microsoft Excel and that is known as the Clear Sales feature. Now, uh, this Clear Sales feature, as you might all have guessed, is used to clear the contents of the cell or uh, that's what it sounds like, but that is not its only feature. This clear sales feature enables us to clear up a multiple things in the sales. Okay, so before uh, getting into this function or this clear sales feature using the VB code, let us first see that where it is present in the home tab. Uh, in the home tab, it is present in the editing group. You can see this clear thing. So we have got all these options that you can clear all you can clear the formats the contents the comments or the hyperlinks so these are the options that we get uh, when we want to clear anything that is whenever there is a content of the cell present we can clear its contents directly or we can clear its formatting just remaining with the contents we can clear only its contents we can clear if any comments are there or if there are any kind of hyperlinks also then we can clear Okay, so let us first prepare our data, which is going to consist of all these things first so that we can clear them. So first of all, let us create a link. This is going to be a hyperlink over here. So I've typed the text as link and let's add a link to it. And okay, so we've got to add a link to it. So you can simply go to the insert tab and in the insert tab, you have got all these things uh, where you have this hyperlink option. You can just go to it and you would be able to insert a hyperlink to it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is insert a hyperlink for uh, this Excel VBA first video. And uh, I'm going to click on OK. So you can see this is the hyperlink. It has been created. And if I just click on it, then that video would start to uh, play. Okay, so this is a hyperlink. Then uh, what do we have is some other piece of text, say in this cell B1, we have some other text, TEXT text that is a simple text so we would be using the second feature that is clear contains over here then in the third cell uh, that is the cell number c1 what do we have here is another some uh, text let's name it as format and we are going to apply some of the formattings to it like we are going to just change it to a bold we are going to change it to italics we are going to change its uh, font name to something else uh, let us just choose this font uh, you can choose any font uh, it's totally up to you I'm just going to modify its size as well okay and what I'm going to do is just increase its width and then what I'm going to do is actually change its color to a dark blue or this shade of blue okay so these are all these formattings uh, that I have applied over this text next we have uh, another cell and in which what i am going to do is apply some other things suppose i want to add some comments let us add a text say comment and let's add a comment to it now to add a comment there is a simple shortcut that we all know is uh, shift f2 so if you just press shift f2 then there is a comment would be added and you can write anything add comment like this and to get out of it you can simply press the escape key so if you go to it, there is this comment over there and it is denoted by this red uh, arrow or this red end. Okay, whatever you want to say. Now, these are these four things that I want to uh, change. And then there is um, a simple text written with a uh, say underline. Okay. This is what I have. So I have five cells onto which I want to apply the changes. Okay so let's just minimize it like this so we have got our vba editor as well now to use the vba editor we need to first create a macro okay so to create a macro what steps we need to do is yes go to the insert tab and insert a module first now let's rename it to something else like say clear cells so that it is somewhat uh, meaningful like this and then let's create a sub procedure so that VB recognizes that yes, this is a macro that we have created and what we actually want to do with it. So let's create a sub procedure SUB and name it as uh, clear cells. 
So this clear cells is going to be the name of the macro. Just open and close the parenthesis and press enter. Now inside this macro, we can add or um, write any of the VB code, which is used to perform our actions. So what we are going to do is just use the first of all, uh, we need to access the cell. Okay, that particular cell we want to access. So uh, just use this range function. We would be starting from the A1 cell. Use the range function within double quotes, write the uh, name of the cell like this. Close the double quotes, close the parenthesis. And when you put a dot, you will get uh, options to clear the link. Okay, what you want to do from this cell is you want to clear its hyperlink as we have added the hyperlink so you want to clear the hyperlink so to clear the hyperlink what do you need to do is simply press cl when you do uh, the cl when you uh, press the cl you get all these options you can use simple clear you can clear the comments you can clear the contents and all these options that are similar to the clear function that we got in excel okay so here what I'm going to do is clear the hyperlink. So just select this option, put a tab and uh, let's see that what happens when we execute this function. To execute it, you can simply press F5 from your keyboard or you can simply uh, press F8 as well. Okay. So let's see what happens. F8. Okay. Actually nothing is happening. So let's see. Okay, so the thing is the hyperlink gets cleared, but this thing uh, formatting is not cleared. Now, if you just look at it, link is written in blue color and it's underlined like this. The link has been cleared. It's not linked to that video anymore, but it's formatting is not cleared. So clear hyperlinks what it does it just clears the links but the formatting remains the same now if you want to clear the formatting you have to use the other option okay so suppose i want to clear its formatting as well so just use this range function in a1 put a dot and use this clear formats option now when we just use this clear formats option then what happens is its formatting is now cleared and it has changed to a normal piece of text okay so suppose we have some other piece of text that is in the cell b2 uh, sorry b1 and we want to clear the contents of the cell uh, text is written without any formatting we want to clear that text so what we can do is simply write it put a dot and use the uh, option that we have is clear contents when we use this clear contents option and we execute this then you can see that the contents have been cleared at all okay and now nothing is visible then uh, this format is again used to clear the formats so we have already used that function so i'm not going to show it again but uh, there is another function uh, or another feature or in the property that we have using which we can clear everything uh, suppose over here we have some formattings applied and there is a text written as format so we want to clear both of them in one go then what we can do is simply use this range write the name of the cell that is c1 over here and put a dot and there is this clear option simple clear without anything like clear contents clear formats you do not need to specify anything simply you need to write clear and when you do that what happens is you can see that whatever formatting was applied on the text it has been cleared and apart from that the text has also been cleared okay like this you can see okay the text has gone the formatting has gone as well however if some formatting is applied to another piece of text suppose i have applied this formatting like uh, this to some text piece txt text i have written and i have applied some formatting to it okay now what happens is if i want to clear the formats then what happens is the formats would clear and the text would remain but if i clear the text the formats would still remain and if i write anything to it the uh, formats would be the same okay so uh, this clear function what it does is it clears both of these things in one go similarly if you want to clear the comments you can use the simple function uh this range d1 dot clear comments there is this another option 
if you just execute it then you can see that the comments that were present in the cell d1 have now been cleared and this red edge is now no longer visible similarly if you just use this range once again in e1 and just clear the contents then what happens is this text content has been cleared but you can see this underlined formatting is still applied over here you can see over here now if i just type any text say hello then you can see this underlined formatting is still applied so that is a uh, clear content that it will only clear the contents but the formatting that you have applied will remain as it is so that is all in today's video thanks for watching